All right, are you one of those conflicted uh, people out there? Are you an AMD fanboy, but you like NVIDIA graphics? Uh, you're just all over the place. You don't know what you want. You don't know if you want to stick with ATI or go NVIDIA or go Intel. Well, check it out. This is for the AMD fanboys. This is for people that want to use an AMD processor, but you do want to stick with SLI. You want to go with the NVIDIA graphics. Okay, so this is the MSI K9 N2 Diamond. Okay, it's not the platinum. It's not the gold diamond. Bling, bling. This is what Master P uses. I swear to God, it's what he uses. It's insane. Now, this board is pretty cool. It brings a couple new things to the market. Uh, one is the hybrid power and also the, the GeForce Boost. Those are two things. Uh, it's called hybrid SLI. Pretty much what it does is it actually has onboard graphics. You know that most of these gaming video uh, motherboards don't have onboard graphics because you're going to get a video card. You're not going to play you know, Call of Duty 4 on your onboard graphics with your VGA connector. It's just no good. It's not going to happen. So, But this does have one. Now, you might ask why. Well, I'll tell you what. The hybrid SLI will actually do SLI between your onboard graphics and your video card, but that only works with 8500s and 8600s. GTs, so you're probably not going to use it. So the other thing is hybrid power. Hybrid power you might actually use. What it'll do is when you're just surfing the web, doing minor stuff, it's not going to use your video card. It uses the onboard graphics. When you kick it into high gear, you're going to go play a game, you're going to cap somebody in Call of Duty 4, you're going to go play some Crisis, whatever it is, it switches over to your video card. So that helps you keep everything cool, nice and quiet, uh, you know, saves everything, saves the lifespan of everything, so it's awesome. Really cool stuff. Now let me go over the board with you real quick. Lots of really cool cooling on here. Uh, awesome backplate. Check out the backplate on this thing. That is sturdy. Most motherboards don't have a backplate like that anymore. So, uh, going over to the front, you do have your uh, socket AM2 Plus. So for the people that are going to be using your Phenoms, anything that's an X4, uh, it doesn't really matter. 9500s, 9600s, 9950s, Black Editions, Athlon X2s, all that stuff is supported on here. It does have hyper transport technology. And if you look over here for DIMMs, up to eight gigs of RAM that will do the 1066. So it's not just 800. You can do the overclocked RAM to 1066. Not a problem. Uh, you also have, let's see, if we come over here, what's that? A floppy disk drive header or an IDE header? You got a floppy disk drive header. And is there an IDE header on this thing? Oh, there it is down here in the corner. Let's see if you see it. There you go. So that's your IDE. This is your floppy. Uh, you got SATA, a bunch of SATA. You got two right here facing upwards, and then you got four on the back for the big video cards that are going to block them uh, on these boards. So lots of headers, six of them. They do have rates of support uh, 0, 1, 0 plus 1, 5, uh, so you can have a multitude of RAID arrays, back up your information, get faster, do some stripping or striping, whatever you want to call it. It's all going to be able, you're going to be able to do all of it on board. Now let's go over some of the slots because this is where this board, uh, this is what you pay for. You pay for the slots. Three PCI Express 2.0 slots. Okay, so if you're using one of these, it's going to be X16. If you're going to use two, it's going to stay dual X16. And if you use the third for tri SLI, it's going to go 8, 8, and 8. You're going to split them up. So if you're using PCI Express 2.0, it does not matter. It's going to be a non-issue because of the double the bandwidth through that bus. If you keep looking down here, very nice for overclockers. You got your, your CMOS, clear CMOS, uh, power and reset. Those are great. If you're overclocking, you went too far, you got to clear the CMOS. Or when you're benching it before you put it in the case, you want to turn it on without connecting all the powers. That's fantastic. You have all the buttons on there. Let's go talk about some of the stuff we have here on the back panel. Uh, you're going to see something missing. You have one second to figure out what's missing. Any guy, anybody? Anybody? No. Nope. Uh, it's sound. There's no sound on here, and I'll show you why in a second. Let's start up here though first with the PS2s. You got two PS2s for your keyboard and mouse. DVI, like I said, this is hybrid SLI. You got onboard graphics, digital. You got your FireWire, dual gigabit LAN, four USB 2.0s. You have eSATA on board right there. So you have two eSATAs, and those can be configured in a RAID array as well. So if you're using two external one terabyte hard drives or 500 gigers, you want to make sure that nothing gets lost ever, 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 ever. You can set them up in a RAID 1. Uh, you can mirror them, and you'll have two copies of everything. Now, about the sound, uh, you guys are wondering, where's the sound on this thing? Well, look at what this thing comes with in the box. No, I don't think too many motherboards come with onboard creative X-Fi audio. So this is one of those X-Fi cards. Uh, it's going to do everything that any regular creative card, but it's going to come in the box from M MSI. And again, uh, SP diff. In and outs, 7.1. You get eight channels overall, 7.1, including your sub. Awesome. This is going to be high quality sound, much better. These things are usually about 100, uh, sorry, 97% clearer than a regular onboard sound. Okay, there's no interference from all the stuff on the board. So this is awesome, awesome stuff. Let's go over real quick what you get in the box because you do get a lot of stuff in the box with this motherboard. Now, if you, again, you want to use, need more USB 2.0s, Firewire USB 2.0 is right there. If you need more eSATAs, 
great for video guys. You guys need your storage out of the computer. You're taking it places. Uh, this is awesome. Dual eSATA. You already got one there, so that's three in total. And it even threw in an eSATA cable in the box, so you don't even need to buy one in case you're, uh, you're, you know, it didn't come with one, your external hard drive. That's great. SATA cables, tons, three of them. That's not tons, but it's a lot. It's plenty. Of course, very important. This is not, this is useless without these, okay? You're not gonna buy this board if you're gonna run one card. You're gonna run two, you're gonna run three, 9800 GTXs, 9800 GX2s, 280s, 260s, whatever you want. This is gonna let you do that. SLI. Let's take a look at the back panel connector. Very nice back panel connector. I love these. I can't stand the, the chrome ones. These are so nice when they're nice and gray, nice and labeled, color coordinated and everything. Now, another good thing about this, let's say you're gonna use your computer for a, a, you know, a TV tuner or a part of your home theater system. In the box, DVI to HDMI. So in case you wanna have dual monitor support from your video card and then you wanna have this separate, this can go, you can use this exclusively for your television off the onboard graphics and use your HDMI with audio, 7.1 channel, all of it going through the HDMI through that DVI port which is really really cool also included the connectors fantastic when you're building a computer this will save you time effort you don't have to look in the manual it just says it right there you probably could never zoom in on this but it does tell you everything that you need to connect up to ever as usual IDE and floppy disk drive headers for people over 60 and then on top of that a uh, little four pin Molex connector to SATA so for the guys that don't have the SATA hey don't need to worry about it if you're building a new system you can use your old power supply just you know make sure you have enough watch for your video cards and then you can use these to connect your hard drives you don't have to worry about having a power supply with SATAs and ironically enough you get three more of those these are the little ones this one's nice this one will go a little bit further and this one's are, you know this is an extension and these are not these are just you know the regular ones uh, but that's all fantastic stuff in the box that you get from MSI so awesome all right so your name D fanboy you love SLI you got to stick with Nvidia for the video cards you need lots of connectivity you need lots of eSATA lots of USBs lots of everything onboard graphics ready to go in case you're going to build a computer now get a video card label later or wait for a new video card this is the board for you okay 1066 megahertz front side bus support uh, hyper transport technology all that great stuff. As usual, if you have any questions, go ahead and email me. I'll get back to you. If, if you can Google it, don't send it to me. But if you don't really know the answer, go ahead and email me. I'll answer it on the show. Until next time, I'll see you guys around. For more information on the MSI K9N2 Diamond N Force motherboard, go to compusa.com and type in M452-6034. Or you can call us 24 hours a day, seven days a week at 1-800-COMPUSA.